In this video, we are going to learn how to add drama to your images in two seconds. I know that's a little bit of exaggeration, but if Maggie or any other instant noodles can say that they can make noodles in two minutes, but it's actually 10 minutes, why cannot I? So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and this is one of my favorite images that I clicked recently and today we're going to add mood to this image. So now before I begin, I must confess that some of the photographers might disagree with this method but I assure you that you will be in love with this. So for example, I want to add a mood of sunset to this image or sunrise to this image. All I need to do, I need to find an image of sunset or sunrise. Just make sure that image is yours, not somebody else's. Okay, then it will be ethical. So I'll drag and drop one of my images that I clicked, also click, all right? So this is one of my image. I'll just drag and drop it in to Photoshop and I'll make it larger. So let's make it larger. Let's stretch it. It doesn't matter how the image will look, but let's stretch it, make it larger, change it the way you like it. It just doesn't matter, okay? Hit enter. Now what you gotta do, you gotta rasterize the layer. You can even skip this step, but I insist you do. It just makes the process faster if you're working with large images. So all you need to do, you need to right click and select rasterize layer. Now let's go to, let's zoom in, let's go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. Take the slider all the way to the right, 130, 150. The value totally depends upon your image. How does your image look? What's the resolution of your image? How many megapixels the image comprise? Now, for this image, say this works, 144 or something. Take it to a value where the image completely blurs out. You cannot make out the stuff in the image. Click OK. Now watch the magic. All you gotta do, you gotta change the blend mode to overlay. Watch, this is before, this is after. Now if you think this is too much, of course this is too much. You can take the opacity low. So suppose this is fine and you can even move this. Right? Can we even move this effect, move this photo to where it suits the best? All right? So once you're satisfied, hit enter and you're good to go. This is before, this is after. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope this video was an asset and not a liability. If this was an asset, make sure to give us a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. So suppose you like this orientation, it just doesn't matter, it just doesn't make sense, 